Hello, beloveds of Trinity Cathedral. I'm Julia, your priest in charge. These last few weeks have been such a poignant reminder of both the strengths and the vulnerability of our participatory systems of self-government. And for Christians in the Anglican tradition, it all begins at church where we learn and practice how to be a community of common vision and goals committed to each other for the good of the world. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for showing up for God's church. Because of you and your commitments to Trinity in 2020, we had one of our strongest years in recent memory with generous giving and a rich online program of worship and teaching and volunteers showing up wherever they could to build deeper connections in an otherwise lonely time. Come to our annual meeting on Sunday, January 24th at 12 p.m. on Zoom and find out what we've accomplished together. You, you have made all this possible. Your commitment of time, talent, and treasure builds upon almost 160 years of faith, love, and outreach right here in the heart of downtown San Jose. I invite you to continue and keep this tradition going for generations to come. Here from your fellow Trin Trinity members is a reminder of why your participation and your generosity matters. I'm here because of you. I'm here at Trinity because of you. Trinity exists because of you. Because, not just because of paying the bills and making sure the lights stay on and the building's up, but because of what you do in the community. The traditions that we have as Christians and at Trinity of giving back, of sharing God's generosity with the community and making a real difference in the lives of everyone, showing God's kingdom on earth. That example is why I'm here. What you've done with that example, what you've done with your generosity, that's why I'm here. So please join me and let's keep it going so that as more people here, more people come. Thank you. I understand the irony, and I think you do too. As I share these words and thoughts with you, I'm sitting in Trinity Cathedral, a structure that was built 150 years ago during the presidency of Abraham Lincoln. And since then, our community has seen civil war, world wars, and through it all, we have remained a community of faith, love, and outreach because I want to see our community thrive and be available to the next generations for the next 150 years as we make a difference in the heart of San Jose. Join me in pledging what you can to this wonderful faith community. Thank you. I'm Shireen. I serve on the vestry and the altar guild team. When I came to San Jose more than a decade ago, Trinity was the first church I visited and I had, haven't looked any further. This beautiful church with its upside down ship-shaped roof and stained glass windows has been serving the community for more than 150 years. It is where I experience faith in action. Having grown up in India, I was delighted to see traditions I was familiar with. The church welcomed me and has been a huge support during some very trying times. It has enriched my faith and has helped foster a sense of community and uh, provided opportunities for me to serve both at the church and in the community. I pledge because I want to keep this ministry going and for this church to continue being a rock of support and faith for this community for generations to come.
I was one of those people who read their way into the Episcopal Church. But then the strangest thing happened. I found Trinity Cathedral, and uh, somewhat miraculously, what had been a set of theoretical ideas and values became incarnate. And all of these things inspired me. And for that, I give great thanks. And I very gladly and very happily make Trinity Cathedral my very first priority when it comes to giving. I spent many years in my adult life searching for the right church. And finally, I found the Episcopal Church. And I realized that's where I belonged. Trinity has been a comforting piece of, well, normal in this not so normal year. We are blessed too with the gifts we have in our pastor, Julia. I pledge to Trinity because I believe in the strength that comes from community. And I'm happy to be part of a church that emphasizes helping others. And finally, I give to Trinity because I fully support our Guadalupe congregation. Please join me in supporting Trinity and Guadalupe and helping fulfill our calling as a cathedral. In this. Good morning, Trinity Cathedral. I was raised in a God-fearing Episcopal home and saw how my hard-working parents gave of their time, their talent, and treasures. I have been blessed to be able to continue that tradition of giving so that the doors of this beautiful church remain open. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25 reads, The generous will prosper, and those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. Generous people are generous, regardless of their financial condition. As a community of faith, we should not be reservoirs, but rivers allowing our generosity to flow and touch the lives of many along the course of its way. That is why I give Trinity Cathedral. The bells of Trinity have sounded in times of joy, in times of commemoration, in times of celebration, and in times of mourning. The reason that the Episcopal Church and Trinity Cathedral has been here throughout the centuries to influence, to stand up for justice, to serve, and to create community, and to welcome newcomers is because of the faithful financial support of people like you and me. Please join me in answering the call. Join me in making a pledge to support Trinity's ministries in the year ahead. Together, we can make Trinity a place for all people, and we can continue to serve and lift every voice and sing. Thank you.